Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm going to be doing my monthly pulls as always and I'm going to kick things off with the elite character tokens of which I have no idea how many I've got as always again. We're going to start off with a 10 pull and we're going to see what we can get. Not too much as always <laughs> that we can get that's going to be too useful but we're going to pull anyway. I think there may be Maybe one character in here that I don't have. Um, but I'm not sure about that if there's any decent five stars. We did have some terrible luck on this wheel last month. And it looks like we're continuing it with a ten pool of four stars. Not again, surely. What are the odds again of this? I mean, I guess it isn't really like that great. Um, we'll pull on Davy. I know I haven't got Davy on one of my regions. It could be reasonable. Just to get him for SR. This is a guy even decent for SR because he has hemorrhage. There we go, we get a five star. Actually a good five star. He's pretty decent for uh, five star arenas, tag teams. Some teams can be useful with him. Gonna get Dwight. <laughs> Mirabel, I send Antonio, and that might be actually the first Antonio I've ever got. I'm not actually certain. Is he anything special? Not really. He has a leader. All fast teammates, okay, not really. Medium drop bonus leader, but yeah, yeah, don't really need it to be honest. Do we? We don't really need it. Take it in a sendable dome, Mirabelle. Carmen, favorite four star for sure. Another Carmen. Chuck. All of these guys are pretty much getting converted into trainers. <laughs> easy trainers, easy. Dexter. Another bunch of four stars. Wow, we've got quite a lot. We've got quite a lot of these elite character tokens. Keep on zooming. Dexter. Carol. Was that a five star Carol? Or was that a four star? I guess we'll find out at the end. Four star Carl. Connor as well. Jesus. Sheila. Kimberly. Jeremy. One of the last released four stars. That was a four star Carol, okay. Three more. Three more. Lots of fodder, lots of effectively new trainers. Is that a five star Rick? No, nope. four star Rick. Amy, and lastly, Mark. We've got a bunch of Marks in this. Okie dokie, we're gonna do the weapon pulls. Same rules as always. Insta skip if we get a four star. We're only watching the first three just because the animation's really slow here. Did we get anything else? Yes, we did. We got a four-star weapon. Richard's surprising revolver. Looks pretty nice, but not very good. But right, lots of things. I mean, I got six more. Okay. We have four-star early, so I can skip a roo. Darius's pistol. Does Darius have an alert character? I'm not sure if he does. We get one four-star weapon from here. So nothing too spectacular. We're going to start from... We'll start from the right-hand side. We'll go with four star weapon tokens and I'm going to pull on Clem's shotgun which should be after the Aaron one yeah I know this will pretty well now I know the will pretty well I don't think I really need anything here I will pull Negan's Lucille I think that's the old school Lucille Ezekiel swords two weapons for um, the SR basically crit stages Dante's samurai blade I did get asked by man on the moon to upgrade a Dante's Blades, oh the AK-47 or AK-74, it's pretty good. Yeah, Vets Blades. Maggie's Machete. Beta's Machete. <laughs> I think the Beta's Machete is an off trait, let me just check this a sec. Better chance to cause AP down when being attacked, yeah it is off trait. Oh no wait, it's green, okay. It's, a, it's just a bait. Uh, but yeah, this one has got 30% HP. And it does look pretty cool. It's weird for a strong weapon, isn't it? It looks like a fast weapon. I mean, it looks identical almost to a Vets weapon. I guess it's a two-hander. This is a great weapon to start off with the Rampage weapons, but I'm, I'm already good. To, I'm already set there. Nothing really changing anything for me. Um, this weapon looks nice. That's about it. Uh, I'll pull on the Diamond Knife for the last pulls. Yumiko's Dagger. I think that's a decent SR, uh, well, Walker's weapon, I guess SR. Ezekiel's SMD, I don't know if I've had that before. Yeah, that is a good one. 
30 crit extra when HP is more than 70%. 30 crit base, so you're getting a lot of crit. Lots of crit, but nothing really doing anything for me there. I'm going to hold on to the four star weapon, uh, four star recruit tokens, and this is because they're quite hard to come by, and there have been missions in the past where you've got to pull from this well, so it's just like, ah, got to have them on hand, basically, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I'm going to pull prestige before I pull five star. Um, character tokens and I'm gonna pull on is there a telltale character in here? I think there's Violet or is it Lewis? It's one of the two. I'm gonna pull on whoever it is. Pretty sure one of those in there in here. Ty No? No telltale character. It doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe there's a telltale character in the five stars early on. Is there anybody? I'll pull on Jesus if there's no Telltale character after him. Okay. I've had a 5 star ascendable from here for a long <laughs> We get an Antonio again. And we get Jesus. I think that's the command Jesus, right? Oh, it's Shield Jesus. It's actually the guy we pulled on. Okay. That's not terrible, I guess. Could be decent for like a 5 star defense team. And we get Diego as well. Another one. Another one. Okay. What we can going get here? Um. I don't think I really need any one. <laughs> There's nothing, even for a five star team. Um, I think I've already got a dupe, Lydia, but I will pull on Lydia. Mirabelle, that's one of the best rush names of all time. Krista. Another Mirabelle. Hey, there's an ascendable. Oh no, Siren's going past my house. You know, you know. I think that's a dupe idea that we got. Hey, Clementine. And Carson's pretty good for attack teams in 5 star arena. That's a shield, I believe. Yes, this this rush. Lockdown. Yes. Yes. Oh, we get one ascendable. It is the alert one. I don't think she's that great, to be honest, but a rush with it looks like there's so much going on, but there's very, very little going on. It's kinda of weird one. Uh, we'll do the next tent on Harper. Give me another 10. Zeke Zeke. Maggie is good for Faction Assault. Timothy is actually pretty decent for like Champions Arena and stuff if you want to do first turn teams. Because there aren't any real accessible alert commands. Jesus is the Telltale one. And then he can, uh, the, the uh, Timothy can hold a 1535 weapon. Hey, we get Lydia. Okay, we get two Lydias. Interesting. Two Lydias. We do the, the ties up buying character as well. This was one of my favorite characters once upon, upon a time. Once upon a time, three teammates gain 35% bonus HP is pretty nice, but we also get uh, the Lydia. I've already got her maxed out as a six star. I got her when she was a promo way back and she was really useful for me for a long time, but not so much now. So another guardian shield. We get a bunch of shields at least. Um, who should we pull on? We'll pull on Pull on Harrison. Yeah, just pull on Harrison. Four pulls. We're very close to a fifth, but I, I don't really care. We'll, we'll let that roll over to next month. Abraham, Tara, Kane, and Abraham. The droop droop. So nothing special there. Again, a lot of these are going to be transformed into trainers in the training grounds. That's for sure. I'm going to switch across to my other region though and see what we can get over there. Okay, straight into the elite character tokens on the first 10 on Negan. Negan. Hopefully we get some higher star characters. The reason I prefer 5 stars over 4 stars is because I'm mainly going to convert these guys and it would just be more XP for my characters, pretty much. Very unlikely to get characters I haven't got already. A bunch of fours, and it looks like another ten. Another ten fours. I'm gonna do the ten straight away. Straight away. Jesus. Jesus. Total. Greg Fairbanks. Cassidy. Mariana. This character looks pretty good when she's maxed out though. <laughs> Full on ghillie suit. And I wouldn't want to wear ghillie suit right now. It's so hot in UK. I don't know about you guys if it's hot in where you're from. It's hot in UK. 
that's for sure. Next out. Hey, five slug lane. Actually, half decent character. Got a bunch of in there. It's definitely fodder. Fodder. Vicky. Sunday. Double. Double, double. And then Dominic. Oof. Okay, seven more. We we'll just pull straight away. What we gon' get? Shayla by looks of things, yep. Another Cassidy. Anybody else? Is there anybody else? No. All four stars. We get one do we get one five star there? God, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Temple. Uh, was that um Dante's Dante's weapon and it's the first weapon. That's interesting. Can we get Andrew's pistol? Not great. And uh, yeah, is it Dante's? Let me just do the old left, right. Yeah, Dante's binding samurai blade. Okay. Really no chance to get anything in here though, but Rick's bone cracker. I remember when this was released, I was like, why would anyone pull for it? It just looks different. It's not a very good weapon. It's really weird some of the old promo weapons that they used to release just didn't have any good base stats. You could get better weapons legitimately off the world map. It made no sense. It made no sense at all to me. Um, we are going to pull... We'll just pull these elite tokens. Just get some stuff. Get some trainers. Yes, please. Next up will be the weapons. Diamond knife. Give me the luck. Rosita's revolver. Vincent's combat knife. Call that a knife. Beater's crowbar. Yes, that's a nice one, actually. Morgan's ice pick's pretty cool looking, but it's the same 30% defense. I'm really happy with the beater one, actually. Javi's a baseball bat. Negan's Lucille. Terry's LMG. That's got impair on defense on it. Negan's. Has that got double attack or bleed? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. 30% base HP. It's hard to come by on fast weapons, so that's really nice. I did make a really nice weapon for the Dr. Stevens that was part of the event in my guide video, and it was using that weapon as a base, so it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I've already had this weapon before. It's pretty good. We do have a lot of... Oh, no, it's actually 30% attack, not 30% defense. It looks nice, though. It looks nice. It's different than what we're used to seeing. Um, I can't see anything else that's too... Except the impair on defense here. No, it's not a double attack. But it does look nice. I like the, the look of this weapon. But yeah, there are other better tough weapons, unfortunately, to get things rolling for certain setups. So not the best. Um, I'm going to pull on... I'll pull on Clem's shotgun again. I've got her shotgun on both regions, so I don't really need it anymore. But I always take a dupe. Oh, that's a pistol. Like the governor's pistol. Gee, that one's the double attack. That one's the double attack, for sure. And another Morgan's pick. What's that one? A better chance to cause attack down when being attacked. A new threat blunting. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's Governor's. Reminds me of the one from the Joker in one of the original Batman films. Yeah, double attack. I mean, I wouldn't use this weapon as a start, and like a, a base weapon for a, a double attack rampage just because it doesn't have good other stats, to be honest. So, yeah. Morgan's pick's all right. Okay, what we got now? Again, we're going to save these. We have got a lot more pools there, but we're going to save these. And we've got two prestige pools. I'm going to put on Raven. Ascendable, please. Please give me Ascendable. Okay, no Ascendable. That's the way it's going to be. That's that's where I can get maybe some rare Ascendables. These ones are a bit more common. Been part of events and stuff. And even Harper. A bunch of her. Rody. Okay. Carson. Another Zeke. Kate. Mirabel. <laughs> Ties that by Jesus. I remember when I first pulled that Ties that by Jesus was actually like when he was useful. That was quite a surprising pull from Prestige. I'm not going to lie. Quite the surprising pull. I actually pulled Sadiq, I think, in the same temple. Sadiq later on obviously becoming a uh, an ascendable. Uh, 14 more pulls. I'm going to pull on Fast Lady at the next 10. After Harrison. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. 
Negan. Oberson. Another Kerry. Sandy. I've got so many of that Sandy. So many of that Sandy. That's another Carson. That Zeke I wanted for ages, and in the second I started getting him, I had no use for him. Rip. Rip a rude. I think that, that Negan's actually good that we just saw there. Not sure which Yumiko that is. Let's just check out this this Negan. He is actually potentially a good defense lead. All range teammates get 30% defense and a very large bonus to AP when taking damage. He could be reasonably decent on a five star defense team. All stun guns. My brother was sort of getting a team together with, with that. Which one is this? Okay, it's not the good one. I like the one that does. Uh, it's Guardian Shield. I don't, I don't even know if she's in here. I think I have her on one of my regions. We'll do the four pool. The last four pools on Harper. We get this mission quite a lot. <laughs> okay. I'll take a Lydia Ascendable. I don't think I've got her in this region. Okay. Okay. I'm not too mad. We get a character that I haven't had on this region. But a lot of fodder otherwise. Gonna be a lot of Ascendable fodder. Ascendance fodder, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it for the old pools, I think. I don't think there's anything else. Let's have a little check. All my tokens depleted, except the ones I, I don't really want to pull. Uh, but yeah, that looks like it's it. That looks like it's going to be the end of this month's pulls. Maybe one day they're going to add something in here that's a bit more like exciting in terms of like what you gain on a monthly basis, because at the moment... I mainly do this because it's nice to just do it on a monthly basis, but it's also quite good to just see how exciting the stuff you gather together on a monthly basis is. And at the moment, I think it's obviously at an all-time low. All-time low. So, And I, I think it's pretty much reflected in how much you guys want to watch these videos because the monthly video does not get a huge amount of views. But I'm going to keep it up no matter what, guys, just because I've been doing it for years. So it's the thing that I've been doing my, my channel for the longest time. So I thought... I'm, I'm going to keep it up. I'm not going to stop doing the monthly pulls. It's just, it's just part of my thing. So, uh, hope, hopefully, you still enjoy it to a certain extent. But otherwise, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't watch the video if you're not, if you're not interested. That's the way it goes. I, I do apologise. But yeah, that is the end of my video. Hopefully, you got something nice in your monthly pulls this month. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.